In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a set action to drill down from a monthly view to a daily view. Let's look at a quick example for how this works. So here we're looking at monthly sales. I can click on any particular month and you'll see the data drill down into the daily sales for the month that I selected. When I click off, it resets it to the monthly level. Again, if I pick a month, it's going to drill down to the daily sales for that month and I click off and it goes back to the monthly level. The technique that I'm going to show you will work with any date drill down, whether you want to go down from year to quarter, year to month, year to day, quarter to day, any of these things, they'll all work. You just have to swap out the date calculations you create for the ones that I show you. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do is we want to create a custom date based on our order date. We're going to call this month and we're going to change the detail to months and set it to date value. Date value then returns each individual day and month in the or sorry, each individual month and year in the data set. We also want to create a custom date based at the day level. And this will then return each individual day in the data set. After that, we want to go ahead and create a set based off of the month field. And you'll notice that this shows me each individual month and year that are in my month field. Leaving them all unchecked will tell us that we have not chosen a specific month, therefore show us the monthly level. If I were to pick a particular month, then we would want to show the days for those months. So I'm going to default it to be unchecked for now. Let's now create another calculated field. I'm going to call this my month today. This is simply going to be if the month set. So if something is in my month set, then I want to return the day custom date. Otherwise, I want to return the month custom date. And so again, if I pick a month, show me the day level, otherwise show me the monthly level. Let's right click and drag that to the columns and pick month to day continuous to go as, to give us the most granular data in the data set. We'll put sales on the rows and notice we have 48 marks in the view, one for each month. When I click on a particular month, nothing happens because I haven't told Tableau how to drill into the data yet. I'm going to also need to put the month field onto the path shelf. Okay, now that we've done that, we need to go ahead and create our set action. So let's go up to Worksheet, Actions. And I've gone ahead and pre-built this, this set action, and it's called Update Month Set. The data source I'm going to use is my Superstore, and the set I want to update is my month set. And I want to choose Remove All Values from the Set. So what that's going to do is it's going to, if we're looking at the daily level, it's going to reset it to the monthly level. That's what we're removing all values. And I also want it to only work when I pick one month. So if I pick multiple, multiple months, I don't want it to drill. I don't want the action to work. Let's hit OK and hit OK again. Now let's test, let's test how this works. So I click on a month. It drills down. Great. But now we also still see all of the other months. I see my daily level for that month that I chose. It looks like November of 2017. But I still see all of the other months. So we're going to need to account for that somehow. So what we want to do is we want to determine if a month has been selected in the set. And we're going to do that with a table calculation. So I'm just going to count the number of months in the set. I'm going to use a window max calculation. And it's going to be the attribute of the integer of our month set. Now this may seem a bit confusing, but let's start inside out. The month set returns either true or false. Converting that to an integer changes it to either a 1 or a 0. We, can use the, we need to use the attribute function because a table calculation requires an aggregate. And then I'm just going to return the maximum of whether it's 1 or 0. Okay, So if something's been picked, it's going to return a 1. Otherwise, it's going to return a 0. So let's hit OK and let's create another calculation to help with our filtering. So let's call this one show months in set. And this calculation is going to be if 
the month, uh, if the month in set is equal to zero, meaning no months have been selected, then I want to return true. Otherwise, I want to return the attribute of our month set. So again, that's going to return either the word true or false. And so basically, we have to wrap this in an attribute because month and set is a table calculation. Therefore, we have to create an aggregate. All right, so let's hit OK and let's drag that new field we just created to the filter shelf. Again, it's going to first default to true, but we need to configure our table calculation. So let's edit the table calculation. And we want to make sure that we have both month to day and month checked. And let's go ahead and now edit our filter. And you see it still says just true, so that's good. We click on a particular month and it drills down. I click off and it drills back up. Pick a month and it drills down, click off and it picks back up. If I select multiple months, nothing happens. That's because I told the set action to only work when I pick one month. Now again, you could easily make this be a drill down from year to month or quarter to day, whatever you want. You would just need to recreate these custom date calculations and then just update the rest of the calculations along the way. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Have a great day.